Agent 47 and Diana Burnwood are the world's top assassins working for the ICA. Unknowingly, they have been hired by a shadow client to target a number of operatives of Providence, a secret organization working in the highest echelons of power. Providence's controller, the Constant, approaches Diana and makes her a deal. Eliminate the shadow client and learn about 47's past. But when 47 discovers that the shadow client is Lucas Gray, his lost childhood friend, he and Diana switch sides to fulfill an old pact. Destroy Providence. Together, they manage to capture the Constant, forcing him to reveal the identities of the three Providence partners. Eliminate them, and the war would be over. However, the Constant has an ace up his sleeve. Look closer. In the shadows. Behind the everyday world. Beyond the headlines and the seats of power. A hidden hand. A kind of company known as Providence. To it, we were just assets to use and throw away, to do the unthinkable, the unforgivable, and it never gave us a second thought until now. After decades in the shadows, we are fighting back, me and 47. Much has been lost, but we are closer than ever. We trapped the Constant, Providence's chief controller, and finally learned the names of its three partners. In their downfall, we lay the past to rest. And, just maybe, look towards the future. 37. It's time. Partners are down there. You know, I never planned this far ahead. You never do. I see someone got his memory back. Wait, is that a beacon? <laughs> what the hell? Base. Alexa Carlisle's helicopter just took off. Confirm target locations, over. Diana, what's the status? Right. We have a situation. Carlisle has left the building. And I think I know why. The Constant has escaped. He persuaded one of the sailors into setting him free. And since then, he's been seizing control of Providence assets and resources. I can only assume Carlisle is rushing to contain the damage. If she slips away again... We'll keep track of her. Make sure she doesn't. Meanwhile, the plan stays the same. Your destination is the Scepter, the world's tallest building where the partners are laying low, courtesy of their host, Sheikh Omar Al-Ghazali. Marcus Stuyvesant is fifth generation old money. His family made its fortune in real estate and banking and were at one point the chief landowners in New York. Carl Ingram is a powerful Washington kingmaker whose family grew rich selling gunpowder during the American Civil War and later established a globe-spanning empire in oil, coal, and steel. Both families long since retreated from public view, but their quiet dominance endures to this day. Now, the partners likely suspect that we're coming, so Mr. Gray will infiltrate building controls and disable all electronic doors and elevators. Stuyvesant and Ingram are about to find they have nowhere left to run. Right. 
This is our moment, 47. Providence ruined our lives with the flick of a pen. Today, we return the favor. Happy hunting. Welcome to Dubai, 47. Today is the inauguration of the scepter, and the ceremony is well underway. You will find Marcus Stuyvesant near the building's signature art installation. While a paranoid Carl Ingram has ensconced himself in his penthouse suite, security on highest alert. Mr. Gray is already in position and ready to assist. Good luck, 47. 47. Come in. 47, do you copy? I'm here. Are you in position? I'm heading towards the point of entry. Good. Get back to me when you're there. Use your camera and scan the lock, will you? I think I can override the window's controls from here. is taking place close by. Once you've infiltrated it, get your bearings. I'm sure there must be floor plans somewhere. Understood. We need absolute focus on this one. If Ingram and Stuyvesant are alerted to our presence, we may lose them for good. We are so close, 47. Don't worry. They're not going anywhere. Of you. 
But I have a meeting. Ooh, with who? Can I come? No, Lucy. This is a private matter. Besides, this is your big day. You should mingle. Have fun. Oh, don't worry about that. My aunt is coming. Well, I have to go. I'll call you when I get back. Enjoying the view, sir? That's Marcus Stuyvesant, Providence partner, self-entitled and arrogant little worm. He might not look like much, How are you? but he's done more damage to the world than you could dream. still down at the depot, getting his uniform. I just hope he's got his papers with him. I heard rumors that he used to work for that Dawood Rangan. You know, the Bollywood producer who died? Doesn't sound promising. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Stuyvesant is expecting a replacement guard. If you can locate him, we should be able to get within strangling distance of the little worm. You're gonna get in trouble, mister. I think I can open that window remotely. 
Scan the lock with your camera and I'll have a try. Most of the guests have arrived now. His oh, yeah. just about finished with his opening speech. This is where it gets real. The last nine hours have been a tutorial for what's coming now. You'll have some of the most important people in the world out there. Art critics, royalty, politicians, YouTubers, you name it. Everyone's in the building today. So that means Greetings, new sir. rules. Okay, before we go through those, I want to point you at to the pile of papers on the table. It contains names and information of guests, the new terminal passwords fresh from IT, and run sheets for everything that's going to take place over the next three hours. Grab one before you leave. Eve, memorize everything. All right, first things first. Remember your places. These are important people who do not need to be burdened by your presence. Unseen is a requirement. Second. Why you will overhear conversations of a sensitive oh, nature. I don't believe Let's I have fight. to tell you that half of these people are rich beyond your wildest <laughs> dreams. Rich means weird. a problem. I'm supposed to meet up for duty, but they can't find my uniform. That's not my problem. Come on, I need help. You look my size. If, if you're off duty, couldn't I just borrow your uniform? It's my first day and I really need this gig. Good for you. Congratulations. No, it's all screwed up. They can't find my uniform. I'm begging you. Man to man. Sorry. Still on duty. Oh, God. This is not my day. Oh, it's Mumbai all over again. Look, this is gonna make me look really bad. I'm sure it's around here somewhere. Don't you worry. A colleague is also out there looking. But this is... awful. I mean, I'm in my boxers and you are a woman. It's just so embarrassing. Oh, it's nothing I haven't seen before. But you don't understand. I'm military. We military men are used... Punctuality. I, I was supposed to be ready and present my papers half an hour ago. Yes, you men in the army with your papers. Super punctual. I get it. Yes. Are you making fun of me? That's so cruel. Do you, do you know what a man is without his gun? <laughs> man in his boxes. Crying like a baby. Ugh, you women will never understand. <laughs> and I don't think we ever will.
place, huh? I've been personally invited by the Royal Highness Omar Al Ghazali. I should have clearance. The name is Zaina Kazi. Sir, I understand. But you can't enter without being searched. It's standard procedure. This is ridiculous. Well, that's how it is. Think about it and come back if you want. I'll be waiting upstairs in the reception. Understood? Crystal. Excuse me? Good afternoon. This is quite the ceremony. I was thinking, upstairs, as I am. Reporting for duty. About time. Our client has been going out of his mind waiting for you. Do you have the papers? Yes. Good. I'll call him now. How should I address him? It's classified. So, you don't call him anything. But officially, he's just known as codename Pinky. Sir, this is security. Just calling to let you know your new guard has finally arrived. Yes, sir. See you soon. Okay. Wait here. He'll be here shortly. be my new escort. I have very high standards and trust you will do your duty. You have your credentials on you? Your boss? Seems pretty interesting. Okay. Let's see here. Well, you have been around the world. Mumbai... Italy, France, Japan. This is a very impressive CV. I think you'll do. Okay, walk with me. I need to go through some ground rules. I expect you to be by my side 24-7, unless I say otherwise. Bathroom breaks are, of course, permitted, but only when I say so. I have a very important, delicate meeting today in which I expect you to keep your ears closed, but your eyes wide open. Understood? Now, 
Your papers were indeed impressive, but I need to see what you can do with my own eyes. My father used to take me hunting. He was an avid hunter. I personally hated it, but always admired his skill with a knife, and grew to appreciate what it takes to gut an animal. Have you ever tried to gut an animal? Yes. Good. Hey there! You know, oh, it's I'm not so sorry. easy I thought you were someone else. Like trying to stab a rubber ball. It bounces back if you don't stab it correctly. You're almost here. You have to understand. I didn't get to where I am by blind faith. Okay, we are almost there. You see the shooting targets? Any fool can shoot a target. But with a knife? <laughs> That's where the talent lies. My father always used to say, if you are good with a knife, you are even better with a gun. I want to see your skills. I don't know why, but I've always trusted a man who can throw a knife. <laughs> I'm sure a psychiatrist would have a field day with that statement. So, show me what you got. Do well and you work for me. Fail, you get out of here, and I never want to see your face again. Let's just hope he's half as good as you were. Only time will tell. But I doubt. You cocky idiot. To do Thank with you all service. that power. Take the rest of the day off. You deserve it. Thank you, sir. It was an honor. Thank you, sir. You impressed me. You really did. But let's get to work. Some things you should know about me. This is very much on a need-to-know basis. I am here incognito. So I want you to stay close, but not too close. Especially when we are out in public. You see a man with a bodyguard and draws attention. Understood? Yeah, of course you do. Come on, follow me. Whoa! Oh. Ah, you got him, 47. Marcus Stuyvesant won't be a problem anymore. Let's move on to Carl Ingram. We're not done yet. Command, got a possible 517. Moving in to investigate. Christ's sakes. Looking good today, sir.
Hey, you! Where do you think you're going? Definitely not through here. Get out of my face. you say that? All the water surrounding the electrical fixtures? <laughs> yeah. That's... How's it going up here? Look at me. I've only got one to use it. That boat might be coming around. Lucy, though. Look at this. You are correct, Martin. Sir, you have to follow me right now. Are we clear? Why? Silent alarm has been tripped. Security is on its way. Hide, 47. Stop right there! 
Let the body go! Forty-seven reinforcements are incoming. More guards on their way. Seven reinforcements are incoming. More guards on their way. Forty-seven reinforcements are incoming. More guards on their way. Forty-seven reinforcements are incoming. More guards on their way.
47, reinforcements are incoming. More guards on their way. Someone call for an ambulance. You need to get up. Forty-seven reinforcements are incoming. More guards on their way. Dispatch. Someone's down. Investigate. Forty-seven reinforcements are incoming. More guards on their way. That's Carl Ingram, Providence partner and brass balls billionaire. A legendary political fixer, Ingram is old money and as rotten as they come. Sneaking around here, buddy. Instructions. 47 guards are heading your way. Be careful. If I don't vacuum, I'll get fired.
What the? No need to panic. How are you, boy? How are you? All right. Time for a drink. Just what the doctor ordered. One more. Yes, sir. It'll be waiting for you when you need it. Good man. Hey? Uh, fuck off? Thank you. 
That's your winning face. I'd hate to see you lose. We underestimated the Constant. Yeah, he's a glorified desk clerk. He's not just after the money. He wants it all. We caught him once. We can do it again. And... Well, we're not the ones who let him escape. You still don't trust her. I don't like executive decision makers. Look. You don't have to follow her, you know? Soon, this will be over. Maybe it's time to think about the future. You have to face the possibility that there's no going back. If the ICA knows what you did... She'll make it right. She always does. We have a fix on Carlisle. Come on. We've got a plane to catch. I hope you like the rain, 47. Miss Burnwood. How did you... I have everyone's number. You really ought to know by now. You planned this. All of it. Don't be silly. I just played the hand I was dealt. We'll find you. You had me. Where'd that get you? We handed you an empire. It's for the best. The partners were complacent, set in their ways. But power is more than just security. Providence can be an agent of change. Surely you understand. Or you will. Soon enough.